everyone so this is Pia and I'm gonna share my daily go-to makeup routine with you today um, you must be wondering why do I do makeup every day the reason is that I'm also an instructor apart from being a PhD student so I feel confident when I do makeup and um, also I don't want to show my students how tired I'm looking so because I'm not a morning person at all um, I wake up very late and then I have uh, barely any time to do makeup in the morning and I'm gonna show that to you um, basically like how to look fresh uh, even when you know you are not sleeping that much and when you have so many dark circles so I start with a uh, vitamin C serum so um, after washing my face I just uh, prep my skin with some serum then the next thing that I do is I apply um, a moisturizer and uh, usually I just mix my uh, lotion with uh, any of the foundations or CC cream. I usually use CC cream. Um, this is the Clinique thing. This is the uh, lotion that I've started using recently. And then I get these uh, little samples from ipsy.com. Uh, so I'm gonna use uh, Marc Jacobs foundation in tan Y420 uh, today. So I'm gonna just mix my foundation with my uh, lotion and just put it all over my face. And I usually start from the center area of my face and then like spread it out all over then the next thing that I use is my concealer mm, I use NARS um, concealer in um, in the shade caramel and I like uh, this one because this is too creamy and it doesn't like mattify the whole look so it still uh, you know leaves that dewy look and I'm a sucker for a dewy look I don't like matte face I'm gonna take just a random um, sponge so this one okay so uh, the next step is using um, compact powder and just pressing over the concealer so that it you know stays the way it is throughout the day so I use studio Mac fix in the shade a 48 no sorry in the shade NC 45 I'm not that good with shade numbers this is the first time I'm doing this so please excuse me all right so yeah I just put it over my concealer area and over my lids as well okay so I'm done I also put some over here and like there's a little trick that I do if I have a lot of time uh, then I do this trick so I use a lighter uh, shade of compact powder and then I you know I try to do some highlighting so I just dab uh, this lighter shade foundation uh, in the middle section of my forehead and under my um, eyes a little bit over here so I want to like highlight this this area this inverted triangle so over here a little bit on my nose and here as well and like if I really want to go too much into my makeup then I also uh, just like you know put some um, lighter shade powder over here so that like you know I don't have to use my contour as such but then it is you know naturally making a contoured look all right okay so 
the next thing is uh, blending it all together is kabuki I got this kabuki brush so uh, you can see like there's some difference between my you know skin tone here and here so I just want to blend it all together so I mean I don't go through all this process you know when I'm getting late and um, I need to go and teach so this is just like a little tip for you all the next thing is my blush so this is dot the color is fiesty um, so I either use this one and this is too subtle like you cannot see it that much or I you know just grab a lipstick and I just put it on my cheeks and I'm done uh, but okay let's use this one today so and I start from here because um, that makes me look a little bit more younger <laughs> The next thing, the most important one, eyebrows. Uh, this is Trestic. I have never heard of the brand. And it's a mini brow pencil. This is how it looks like. See? It's like a pencil. Alright. And then, you know, if I feel like that it's too dark or something, uh, you know, off is happening, then I just use my fingers and I just, you know, kind of take out some of the pigment from my brows all right so what else is left um i usually don't put eyeliner or anything because i don't get the time to do that i usually go with just uh, a mascara um so let's do that i'm gonna use this one it's again clinique high impact mascara and i got the worst eyelashes in the world so they are like straight and too short and i feel like if i put some mascara on um i f look more awake and fresh and uh i mean like if you start your mascara from the uh root of your eyelashes it kind of makes an you know an automatic liner above your eyes like can you see here like there's a black line so like i i don't think like i need a, an eyeliner apart from that you know on a on an everyday basis the last thing that i'm gonna do is um i have this elf highlighter so uh i just take the lighter one lighter shade and i put some of it like in the inner corner of my eye and like if I want I can put some in, on my waterline as well then I sometimes grab this one the darker shade which is like you know around the shade of my skin tone and I would just rub some of that onto my finger and then I I'm just gonna like put some of some of that on my eyelid all right it looks good okay so almost done the last thing is lips and you know when i'm in a hurry and i don't want to use any lipstick and i also want it to last forever um not forever for the day then i use this one nyc 16 r lip stain and it's perfect for such kind of situation not bad yep and the last thing is just put some lip balm over that and you should be done so i got this clinique pep start lip balm i just put it on the top I open my hair. I do nothing because I ain't got time. And this is how I look every day. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.